I'm, I love this job. It's a great job. I work predominantly at night time. During the day, I can do what I like. During the day, I head out, head out to the shops, go to the movies. I live with a lady that's got two kids. I hang out with them. <laughs> She's my wife. They're our kids. Uh, <laughs> they're good kids. They're 11 and 9, uh, whatever. And um, uh, names, whatever. And, and they're good kids. <laughs> Nothing prepares you for having kids either. Who's got children? Yeah? That excitement is amazing, isn't it? Like, it's such a... Uh, who hasn't got children? Yeah, well, keep your excitement. I, um, nothing prepares you for having kids. Like when, we, when we were thinking about having children, we went to our friends who have got kids and we said to them, oh, we're thinking about having kids, hoping that they'll give you some insight, right, and, and let you know what it's like. <laughs> These people that you know and love for years and years just lie to your face. Right to your face and said, oh, I think about having kids. They're like, oh, it's amazing. It's the best thing you'll ever do. So rewarding. Oh, it changes your life. Then walk off, I imagine, just going... <laughs> <laughs> Not mentioning that spare time's going to fuck off with everything in your wallet. I don't know. <laughs> No mention of that. No mention that peace and quiet was a thing of the past. Peace and quiet, you have to manufacture that now that you're a parent. I made a rule. I made a rule with my kids that allows me some peace and quiet. No talking to dad while he's doing a shit. <laughs> my little cupboard of calm. That's where I get a bit of quiet time. Number one, you get some quiet time. Number two, I didn't want to have that chat with my kids, you know, through the door. You know, it's in the bottom drawer. <laughs> That's no way to communicate. Right? So I get some quiet time in there. Do you know how many pretend poos I do in a day? Too many. Oh, me neither, but the number's getting up there. I came out from one the other day and the kids were Googling irritable bowel syndrome. 